Who is Samsung? No way. Another one. Look at that. We are here in Richmond, Virginia. We just bought this absolutely packed abandoned storage unit for $310. Let's open it up and see what we got. First, let's pull out this awesome hat here, right? That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, lampshade. Just kidding. Sorry. Good mood. I don't know why. Just jam. Let's see what this is right here. It's definitely a painting, but of what? Oh, they stored it to where the bar kind of indented it, but it looks like. Ugh, get down. Look at that. No, well, you can't really tell that it's banged up. There's a little bit of an indention right here from the bar, but still cool. Yep. There's the painting. Let's see what's in this bag right here. It's hard. I thought it was going to be closed. Definitely not closed. Kitchen then. Let's see. It is, but they're actually like super good shape. That's unusual. Like you see like these pans? So good kitchen stuff. We might keep some of that, right? Yeah. How much of our kitchen supplies is made up from storage units? 90%, 95? Yeah. I'd say about That's there. That's okay. Yeah, I know. Let's go into this box right here. Hair on it. All right. Oh, it says bathroom. But a lot of people keep jewelry boxes in the bathroom. That's really what we look for in bathroom boxes. Let's see. Uh, papers, bunch of paperwork. What is that? Inspections. Is this a photo album or what? Um, yeah, a photo album. So we'll make sure we get this back to the previous owners, along with these pictures in here. Let's see if there's anything else. Certificates. All that personalized stuff, we'll make sure they get back. Let's put this box on top of that one. This one doesn't have a label on top of it. Do you see anything written on that side? No. No, all right, so this one's random. Let's see. Uh, this one looks like the kitchen, unfortunately. There's a four bread toaster. Some more pans, some plastic cups. All our dishware is plastic because I hate glass. We universally agree on that. A gross Dallas Cowboys cup with some toothpicks inside. Another cookie sheet. Let's see. Well, at least they're a Pepsi household. I gave a little bit of respect for them. Pepsi is always better than Coke. And yeah, I don't want to have to sit here and go through their glasses and food. That's kitchen. Let's see what these things right here are exactly. If I can get it out, it's kind of stuck. Let's pull this out. First. It's just a giant piece of glass. Yeah. I guess this probably goes to something, hopefully. But sometimes you really do buy storage units and they just have random pieces of glass that I don't know what they go to. You know my guess? What? To that. Oh, you're right. Yeah, look. And there's like two of them. Entertainment center. That's. You know what that is? It's what? like an entertainment center, but you can hook the TV up to the top part. That's pretty cool, actually. So there's that. Let's pull out some of these stools, too. So, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of furniture in this one. It's hard to tell in the pictures, but there's one nice wooden stool. I think I see four of them sitting in here. One, two. I hate these super narrow hallways. It's like, where do I go with the stuff? Two, out. There's number three. And... Here's number four, but now, nope, I still can't pull that metal thing out. I gotta get all the stools out before I can pull it out. So there it is, four of those. Now I can get to, what are these, you think, CD holders? Yeah. Or DVD holders, DVD I mean? Thing. Yeah, DVD or video game, depending on what you use it for. Definitely what that is right there. Now, this is probably part of something again, you think? Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's part of another piece of furniture right there and i guess let's get into this bag and this box right here now that we can what's in the bag because it's heavy it's definitely not closed it is well some speakers computer speakers like big speakers a light and another speaker it's just like a bunch of speakers and for oh it's almost empty and for breeze like literally like six different kinds of speakers and for breeze that's so random Let's pull out the great tote now and see what's in here definitely doesn't sound like clothes that's a good sign ew what's that is that a doo, doo stain maybe ew is this the paperwork one well this is paperwork can we just have a nice pair of nikes and not papers please i asked nicely i even said please you stupid storage unit yep that's all papers is there anything else underneath of it why do we have to print the internet? Why can't we just have a hard drive? Or a Google Drive or something? Why do we have to print this? Ooh, a Samsung phone. Let's see. Not in there. 
This is, what the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. Timer? I don't know. Okay. Let's go to this side some. Another phone box, but I could tell you this one's super light. I see an Xbox game. Oh yeah, come here. Come here. The Xbox 360, or Xbox original Xbox, Medal of Honor. It's not in there, and the Dark Knight Rises. It's got another movie in there. Sweet Life on Deck. Okay. What else is in here, though? This. So something's in there. Open up. Yep. It's empty. Why'd they keep this? Is this all paperwork? And junk? I think this whole tote here is just paperwork and other random trash. Look at this little tiny miniature lamp. It's got a $17 price tag on it, so not nothing expensive. This to me so far definitely looks like a miniature little apartment cleaned out. That would be my guess right now. Now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I don't know what to pull. Like everything is blocking everything. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's blocking everything. So I guess let's try to get this audio stuff off the top of here maybe. Then work our way over. This is a Yamaha speaker. I guess the speaker. Yeah. I don't know. Audio equipment that well. Because I know like speakers, subwoofer, all this stuff looks similar to me. Let's see what this is right here. Ah, stuff's falling. Stuff's falling. This is... Uh, all right, let's just see. <laughs> a six, what is that? A CD player or a? Compact disc changer. Okay, just stay here. These wires are trying to take me out, I swear. And the last piece of audio equipment is this guy. And this looks like it's gonna be like a surround sound receiver type thing. Isn't that what it looks like to you? Yeah. So I'm gonna guess surround sound set right there. Now I guess we can pull these out, which look like two gigantic speakers at first glance. Ooh. Come on out. Let's see. That's definitely what they are. Two Fisher brand gigantic speakers. I want to come around the back, see if I can see a model number on them. I think it's, a, it's STV-9625F. So I don't know if they're old and cheap or new and expensive, but I think we got two of them, so let's move them out. I moved the speakers, pulled out. This just looks like a little end table, nothing too fancy there. Actually, I'm gonna set it here to use when I get to that tote. I see at least one more tote. This, well, that's a pretty lamp. Why is it stuck on? Why do wire insist on tangling their cells? Everyone says they're just inanimate objects. I don't believe that. I think they're <laughs> snakes. Because there's, you said two wires in there, come back the next day, they're all, I'm like, I didn't do that. So they did that somehow. Here is, look at this. The TV still has the mount installed on the back of it. It's a pretty good sized Vizio actually. So I'm gonna assume this TV mounts right here. Yep. This is upside down. So those pieces we found earlier go on the bottom. It's a pretty nice little whole entertainment setup right here with a pretty nice TV. Now that I got it down, you can get a good look at it. You can see that those are the two shelves and this is where the TV mount. Overall, a nice piece of furniture with the TV with it too. That's gotta be at least a couple hundred bucks if you bought it new. All right, this tote is extremely heavy. I don't know what's in it, but it's got a lot of weight to it. Before I open it though, make sure you take a second to leave the video a thumbs up because you help us out a lot with that and subscribe if you're new because we're always buying abandoned storage units. Let's get in here and see what we got. Well, this is a fanny pack. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna toss it down there for now. It's just like so random. Another cowboy's hat. You know what I mean? It's like there's no rhyme or reason to anything. Some rock aware. It was sixty or a hundred dollars actually, once upon a time, but it's not in there. I hear a bunch of change down there. Pennies. Whoa, is that all pennies? Yeah, look at all those pennies. What is this? What? Is that a dollar? No way. What did you just find? That is a fake. Ah! Look at that. That's a good fake though. It says you need a copy on it. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna start messing with people with that. Okay. What else is in here? Is that another phone box? Another Samsung. This one is heavier than the last one. But, god dang it. Not in there. Let's dump this out right here. Let's see if we can find anything else. Get out. Alright, let's dig through it. There's gotta be something interesting in here, like this right here. Canon. Camera. Boom. A Sure Shot 76 Zoom. What is that? That's an actual card. Always gotta look for gift cards. Um, underneath. Where? There it is. What is that? 
That's a nice one. It's a Rockaware watch. It might have went in that container I said was cologne. Yep. Cool. Okay. Let's dig through this a little more. Oh, there's some actual cologne too. So it might be cologne that was in there. I don't know. What is this? Glasses. Was that the box I had? Yeah. I'm gonna assume that went in there. My guess. Um, what's this? Just a hat. Just a bunch of paperwork. Another one. Dang it. Look at that. I found a real one now. Another, there's two in my hand now. What else is in here? Uh, nothing but papers and nothing but other. I mean, there's some real pennies in there. I think that's all as far as money goes. Now I can get down this stool that's at the top. This one's different because it has a cushion on the top of it. The other ones were just wood. So that looks like it's just a one-off thing. I'm trying to figure out what this is. You think it's a footrest or something? It's a side table. Oh, okay, we'll get to it. But first, let's get these chairs out from the corner. Man, they packed a lot of furniture into a very small unit. Usually I buy five by five because you think you don't have to worry about furniture. They showed me otherwise. So this is one chair. There's only two of them. Yeah. Two of these chairs. Then I guess once I get them out, we'll work on getting the big chair and the other stuff out and see what that is. Now that we got most of the stuff out of the way, let's pull down this guy, see if it's a footrest or a table. I think you're right, because it feels really smooth and wood on the top side. Ugh, it's heavy too. Let's see. Right there. Definitely a side table, nice, nice. one too. It looks kind of modern, the way it's circular like that. I don't yeah. know why I like it. Now, how do we get this out? I guess this next. This is... <laughs> This doesn't even make sense. All the same length. These two come out fine. This one's stuck. Explain the logic to me. Somebody come out. Okay. I hate furniture. <laughs> this is what I would call a corner shelf when you think so. Yep. Kind of goes into the corner of a room. Display whatever you want on there. Now, this it looks like a dining room table. Yeah. There are the two legs. We're going to work on that in a second. First, let's see what this is. Is this something personal? No, this is just a generic hang in your living room piece when you don't really have any hobbies or nothing. So you just kind of like, I need something on the wall. Then you just get those. That's what it is to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, how do I get this out? What do you think is the best course of action from this point forward? Uh, the table, I guess, because the leg's in the way. I don't even know how to though, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn it. Oh, here you can. Okay, it's got one leg on it that's still on. But ugh. there is the table. There's one leg. For some reason, I'm only seeing two. Do you see a third? There's three. There's three? Yeah. Okay, so we got a nice complete dining room table here. Let's load that on the truck and then get the last few pieces out. I pulled this thing out all the way. You can see it's like a, I guess, I would almost say like a TV stand is what it looks like to me, but then they already had a TV stand. So maybe just a cabinet. The legs are on this side, so it's sitting on its side. You can see it has one door down there. The other door is not missing. It's actually just laying inside the unit right there. So again, a lot of nice furniture in this one. Here's what those two chairs look like. It's like a tannish gray and it's got these different colored trees on it. And there's actually two of them inside the unit. And for this little one, that's it. That storage unit wasn't the greatest, but I gotta show you guys the yard sale find this past weekend. We didn't record it, just thought we were gonna go out for fun and it was the best yard sale trip in my entire 28 years of existence. So let me show you some things we got on this table really quick. This. It's just the golf ball thing that we're gonna use for display. That's not important. This is when we get to the good stuff. You see this? Nintendo GameCube works perfectly. Both controllers and the power cable, 20 freaking dollars. Are you kidding me? That was the first find of the day. I was like, why didn't we bring the camera? But it gets so much better than that. First, let me show you some stuff that I have questions on. So. They had all this old stuff listed in a pile for $10 and it was just too mysterious to leave behind. So these are, you could tell like printing presses and I know some of them are really old and some of them could be worth a ton of money. So if anyone recognizes any of the images being shown right now, please let me know down in the comments. But we only paid $10 total for all these printing presses and these baggies down here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So this is a really small yard sale. These are a bunch of old school military pins that were there. Then these are military patches that were also there. Should have brought the camera, but you know, I didn't expect it to be crazy. These are super old bottle labels that were preserved. I just, I don't even know what they're worth. I just thought it was super cool. Let's see if I can pull some out. 
So they look like this, but I just thought it was cool when they had this whole little table of old stuff for $10. So I thought that was really cool. Over here is the really, really good stuff. First, let's go in the back here. All these cars, a dollar. Do you believe that? A freaking dollar. And there's seven of those cars there. If you come over here, we got these Harry Potter ornaments, 50 cents. I know we have a lot of Harry Potter fans. That's the only reason I grabbed it. These were also 25 cents a piece. It's more of those crystal rocks, but still, this is nothing compared to the good stuff over here. First, look at this guy. He's not part of the good stuff, but Shaq was my favorite basketball player growing up, and he's like one of the best athletes of all time. And it's a limited edition of only 5,000 made. I paid $2 for Shaq, so I'll probably <laughs> end up keeping him. When I played basketball when I was young, I played center, and I was like the big tall guy that kind of played like Shaq. I watched him, and I would copy his moves. So everyone's like, he's the white Shaq, the white Shaq, and that was my nickname when I played basketball, so I've always loved Shaq. And then we go back here, the Pac-Man machine. These are top loaders card, but they actually came free with something I'm gonna show you in a second. This, $2. These old school Simpson shot glasses. Now we're gonna get to the really good stuff. First, semi-good. The last is gonna be really good. So, for you guys that watch Yu-Gi-Oh! or collect the cards, all these cards were $9 and they're all from the 90s. I haven't gone through them yet, but there are a few holographic ones. There's some that are in sleeves. There's some good ones, okay? So there's that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Oops. This binder was Yu-Gi-Oh cards, $20, but these ones, as you can see, are in like, you know, pristine shape. They obviously took care of them. They're all binded. I mean, there's pages and pages, and again, they're all the 90s ones. There's nothing new in here, but first or last, let me tell you the insanity. So, I'm so excited to tell the story to everybody on <laughs> YouTube. We saw a little tiny yard sale. You know the ones you don't usually go to because there's just like two tables of junk and you're like, meh. They happen to have a picture of Muhammad Ali there and I thought it had a cool quote on it. So I was like, let's go see what they got because I wanted to look at the picture. In the back, a table of VHSs. You know what's sitting in the VHSs? These two binders right here. These two Pokemon binders. I opened them up. They're all cards from the 90s. And I'm talking, look at this. I open up the first page. You see Dark Dragonite. This card, I think, ungraded goes for $60 plus on its own. So I knew this was a good binder. And I was like, crap. It was a much older guy. I walked up to him and I was like, how much are you looking for in the Pokemon cards? And he looked at me so dead serious and was like, I know they're worth a lot. I looked them up. You're not going to like this. So I'm like, oh gosh, he knows. They're going to be worth, he's going to say like four or 500. He looks me dead in the eyes and goes, I'm looking for $40. And I was like, for both? <laughs> He's like, yeah, both. And I was like, you got $40? Here you go, thank you. And I just started, just started looking at these guys. Like I said, this one right here is worth 60 some dollars. And I haven't even really flipped through. I'm gonna set them on the table over here and kind of flip through. If we have anyone in the comments that knows this stuff, please let me know, because they're all from the 90s, all of them. There's nothing in here that I've seen so far that's newer age Pokemon. And it just blew my mind. I never had somebody look at me so dead serious and tell me I'm not gonna like this and then proceed to tell me something that I absolutely love to hear. So it's crazy. And they're all in like perfect shape and look. This binder goes pretty deep. I don't wanna go through every page. It goes pretty deep. And then this little one here is also, they're a little dirtier as you can see, but still, the cards themselves, all from the 90s. I see Slowpoke and a lot, lot of good ones in there. I didn't see a Charizard. That's what I flipped through and looked for the Charizard. I didn't see Charizard, but I know there's a lot of other ones that are worth good money. So all my Pokemon card people, sound off in the comments and let me know what you think for $40 and which ones I should be looking for.